Alright, in the bottom side of Dreamcatcher, spawning in the purplish, whitish, pinkish <laughs> color. <laughs> this is Kane playing as Zerg. I thought you were going to say Kane ish, we were going to just fall up on that. <laughs> <laughs> His part in the top left, he's the green Saren, hoping to bring this to an ace match here. It is insane. Okay, your voice is breaking up a little bit there. Uh, do you want to restart your Discord real quick and call me back? Will do. Meanwhile, we got a hatch first here. Versus a Reaper expand. What's up, Symphonic? Alright, I am back. Is that better? Much better. It's perfect now. Okay. Yeah, turn on your camera too so we can get back to that scene. Okay. There we go. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, it's a bit tough. Uh, because Symphonic is in the US and I'm in Europe, so sometimes we get a tough time uh, getting our voice connected correctly. We're always connected in spirit, though. Yep, and chat is complaining a little bit actually about uh, quality settings, that it's at the moment too high. Uh, so with some growth, we'll actually unlock quality options. So all we need is like 10 to 15 more viewers so from then on we'll have scaling quality and you can just pick in the drop down you may be able to now actually if we're lucky super super standard game here we got oh no the chat i mean the voice again breaking up i'm gonna restart myself Yeah, excuse us, guys. Game paused. So many tech problems with the call. Insane yeah, pause really. the game. Yeah, not sure what we can do about it either. It, it just seems to be very temperamental. Discord seems to be very temperamental right now. Um, so by the way, Nakamura, I'm not sure if you saw it, but Insane was actually able to kill the drone with his Reaper as it was going to take the third base. Yep, uh, it, it tried to transform itself into an extractor, but couldn't get away. So that's a big one always. Uh, is, uh, Kane still gets the third base down, so that's nice for him. But losing that drone is just annoying. Yeah, so just a slight delay on the third base timing with that. Losing the drone, again, not like a huge advantage or anything, but just a, a little mental edge more than anything. Yep. Speed is almost done, so... Those links should be able to go after the Reaper because it's staying really close. Uh, Kane should kind of be wanting to move it before it finishes so that he gets this perfect surround. Oh, actually a creep tumor dies because he was delaying it. And the Reaper gets away. Wow. Meanwhile, Helium Banshee is the build that we're going to be seeing here. Oh, actually a Liberator Whoa. from the tech lab. Okay, that's... And Cloak. All right. Yeah. So... In all likelihood, it will be a fake out. I mean, I guess theoretically he could follow up with a Banshee, but I think it's going to be canceled. He's going to try to take Kane by surprise with the Liberator. Yeah, this is great, actually, for the scout there. Uh, only one Marine, so everything will be seen here. Kane should There's be ready. So it is just going to be that Ooh. Liberator. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's it makes sense to cancel that because... You know, seeing this will prompt you to make spores, it will prompt you to make extra queens, and you'll just be ready for it, so right. way better like this. And so most of the time, the Zerg player, if they think it's going to be a Banshee, they're going to put the spore in the uh, in the center of the mineral line. If it's a Liberator, usually you put it on the outskirts of the mineral line. 
So might just buy a couple more seconds for Inzane as well, uh, as Kane will have to reposition those sport crawlers. Yep, also Kane uh, is getting some pretty early gas here, Symphonic. Do you think we could be seeing some Muta in response to this? It's a good question. Lair has just finished up now, so we should find out any moment here. There's a Liberator. It's going to deny a lot of mining. The Queen will be able to get into position and start picking away at it. Yeah, this will definitely take a second to kill. Uh, actually, Liberator goes away. Adding a sharp posture into run in, but the Queens are nicely in position, so they're really not going to be able to. Uh, plus one is started for a Terran player, and the transition is definite bio, uh, but still yeah. already more than halfway done. So no third on top well. of that, yeah, I was going to say, he's going to he's going for an aggressive build here, for sure. I mean, it's, this is three racks. Ah, uh, there I it guess. is. I'm wondering how many tanks he's going to go with here. Looks like he'll, I'm guessing it'll probably be three tanks. And then when he gets his first two medevacs, he's probably going to push out, put the tanks behind that terrain blocker and start shelling away at the Zerg army. Third base is in production now. But with a build like this, you have to get out there and uh, you really want to do some damage. Even if it's just killing a lot of Zerg units and forcing them to remake, you've got to get out there and do, uh, and do something with it. So this is really, really odd from Kane. There's still no fourth base. There's no tech, only upgrades. Uh, I mean, he did identify that there's no third base yet landed for Insane. So it's kind of okay to just drone up in this case. But what about this pressure? I mean, you'll need a lot of link pain and painting speed. I'm not sure if it will be ready in time. Yeah, and even then, so it's all going to come down to whether or not the tanks can get into position and siege up before the Lings close the distance. Yeah, the Ling Bane army at the moment is pretty tiny, and actually, oh my goodness, Kane goes in, so much dies, all the queens, a lot of the Ling Bane, and there's not that much in production, to be honest. All of no, the this is a really, killed. really powerful position here for Inzane. There's going to be a wraparound being set up right now by Kane, but some Marines are there to protect it. Oh my goodness, the tanks blow up. All of the Bane Lanes in Zane equalizes the series for the Volvan.